Like the other morning I did one, and this guy called, and he was talking about the relationship he had with his baby mama. You know what a baby mama is, right? Yeah, for sure. Definition, tell me. Baby mama. Woman that you're in a relationship with, have a baby, but don't stay in a relationship with her. But, you know, a relationship. Some of them don't even, most baby mamas don't start in a relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Urban Dictionary is somebody you smash. Unfortunately, you had a kid with them, but you reap the benefits of producing and bringing a beautiful human being into this world. So it's kind of like a good bad. Yeah, baby. A lot of people don't like to use the term, but it's all type of baby moms. Like my brother, my middle brother, I've talked about this on podcasts before. Educated guy, Brown University, Georgetown Law, and um, his baby mama. He doesn't like that term. He likes to use the term the mother of my child. Which one are you talking about? My baby mama. I think baby mama is like kind of negative because usually when you say the ba- word baby mama, it's something negative. Like, I can't stand my baby mama. I never saw it as negative, but now that you said that, I can see it as negative because yeah, you you're got- like, I just smashed this chick. Yeah. And now, but we have now a baby. She's my baby mama. Yeah. Yeah. You but have to be friendly to her. You have to be friendly if you want to get some ass. You have to be friendly if you want somebody to experience the big black cock. Everyone <laughs> no, knows I was that. saying because they're raising your child. What do you mean? Because they're the mother of your child. So you want to be nice to the mother of your child, right? Here we go. I mean, you don't... Okay, I mean, let me tell you this. this we're getting is off not topic of the to live. Me. No, this but. is not related to me. You said you want to be nice to the mother of your child. I was saying, generally speaking, somebody would want to be nice. I wasn't saying you specifically. I think there are people out there that want to be, but circumstance, circumstances exist where you can't. I can imagine. And well, I you were, like you were saying, there was a guy, you were on a live with him, his baby's mama, carry on. That's because I think it fits, right? Not baby's mama, his baby mother. His baby mother. Yeah, he called it. He was like, it was weird because the young dude, he was like, yeah, man. This is what, he started off, he, was like, he said, my baby mama is retarded. Right? Yeah. And if I was a person that had issues with a baby mama, I'd be like, I would have automatically agreed. And I shut him off immediately. I was like, that's unfair to say. We don't know anything about it. Uh, retarded is a very insensitive, um, uh, non-politically correct term. It's an easy but, term. It's an easy term. Yeah. But, then, but then my ass said, what did the bitch do, right? <laughs> no, I didn't say that, but because I didn't want to jump the gun and just assume that Whatever the situation was, it was her fault, right? And for whatever story you have, there's always, there's always another side of the story. And I said, what makes her retarded? He was like, he went on and on. He was like, yeah, man, she out there getting it popping. Still didn't pick sides. And I was like, usually when a guy, a lot of times, when a guy says their baby mother is crazy, it's probably for a reason. It's probably because we do force, um, uh, uh, women into that psychotic state and then we want to pull back and say we had nothing to do it. That bitch crazy. Why is she crazy? Because I came in, I was supposed to come home on Tuesday. I came home three days later with condoms in my pocket and my face looked like a clown. I had lipstick all over myself. She crazy. I don't know what she thinking. You know, but I gave her the benefit of the doubt, but I needed to know more. Come to find out, he said, yeah, she slept with her sister's boyfriend. I was like, damn, that's still not enough. He said, and she fucked 50 guys. And I'm like, where did you find this information? I was like, this sounds like some Maury Povich shit. You know what it was? A relationship that found out the uh, 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 status of if this kid is his or not through more. He was actually on the Maury Povich show. He was? He was on a Maury Povich show. Wait, you're not the father of Maury Povich? The he type? was on the, I, I felt like this, like, when it, came, it comes to, and it's always, how many of these bitches name these babies Tatiana? Because every time they come up with results, it's like Tatiana might not be their first name, but it's in there somewhere. When it comes to Janita Tatiana Nakina Smith, when it comes to Tatiana, Tatiana April Jones, when it comes to, come to, when it comes to, uh, uh, give me another black name, son. When it comes to Jermaine Johnson, son, I'm still good with the Tatiana's, but it's like it's always some time you are, and he was. And the thing about it was, I was like, how do you get to the point where you have to go on a show to figure it out if somebody's a thought or not? And but when I was talking to him, 
he seemed like a genuine kid. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like he cared. But I, I said, I can almost, I don't know this is crazy to say, but I almost could feel that relationship. I was like, well, usually when you're a thought like that, it's learned behavior. It's because it's something or images that you see, right? And I said that it sounded, not even knowing the backstory, I said this sounds like it could possibly be a situation where mom is a thought too. And this motherfucker said, her mother is worse than her. I was like, God damn. So mom is out there thotting. She give these thought images to her daughter. She turns it through a thought. And this kid had a young daughter. The daughter was four months old, right? And then he was saying to himself, he's like, you know, I get on the weekends, but I'm thinking about trying to get full custody. And I don't it care. I don't think it's always a case where a kid needs to be with the father. But in this case, I really felt, I was like, yo, bro, listen to me. Listen to me closely. Do everything. Make sure you got a support, support group. Because if you're going to go to court and try to get full custody of this kid, it's not just going to be you. What's your support base? Who's going to help you with it, right? This situation. Because I told him, your life is going to immediately change. If you're going to be that full-time dad that has 100% custody, and I've seen some guys do it, it's a tough thing because most of the time, men want to be f free. They want to be able to do what they want when they want. But then you got a responsibility of raising a kid 100% of the time, your life is going to change, right? And I said that it's important for you to get that daughter, do everything you can get your daughter because the, obviously there's a cycle. There's a cycle, and I don't understand, I could not see how she was going to skip that cycle when mommy was like that, grandma was like that. And even with that said, he never felt, he never said the only thing he called her was, only thing he called her was retarded. I don't, I don't agree with that, but I do understand that some people have a certain lifestyle and they are used to certain things and they see something and then that's what they favor growing up, you know? Was he on Maury Povich, um, This Is Not Your Daughter? Maury, did, like All the, those shows what, are the same thing. It, but did he take the test? Yeah, he took the test. Oh, okay, so he is the father. He is the father, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. You know what? People think that their relationship is going to be salvaged. Like they were like, we gonna see, you gonna see, what you gonna do? Well, if it ain't my baby, if it's if it's my kid, I'm gonna be responsible. I'm gonna take care of the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my responsibility as a man. And a lot of times, people think being responsible as a man is just the financial support, and it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? You can give a kid all the money you want, whatever. But if she doesn't have the right guidance, and I knew in her in his situation or their her situation that there wasn't a father figure around there anywhere. There wasn't a father figure in grandma's life. There wasn't a father figure in mama's life. And and I was like, don't be the guy that's not a father figure in this kid's life. And I told him, I said, you got to save this girl. You know, it's as tough as it may sound. You got to save this girl. And I think that he could, he, if you go to court, he'll be able to justify that. You got to, you can. So why don't you think that she's good to raise this kid? Uh, Your Honor, let's go to the videotape. You've been with 50 guys. If it comes down to like what Maury said that's going to solve your relationship, your relationship is already fucking dead. If you see all these possibilities, well, I said with this guy this, that day, that day, but I'm sure it's yours. Okay, you hit what you consider the, the bullseye. It is. That's right. It's your baby. It's your baby. What you going to do? I'm like, bitch, I'm leaving you. If I got to go to Maury Povich to find out the status of if this kid is my kid or not, then that relationship is fucking, fucking dark as shit, son. White people don't deal with that as much, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, like, yeah, white trash shit, you know? Like, you know, yeah, white trash shit.